But jumping straight into one of the first things that you need to do, which is that you need to sign up for a PayPal account. Now with this particular work from home job that I'm gonna be showing you, the way that it works is that you're going to find businesses that are going to pay you when it comes to building a website for them. Because there's thousands of different businesses all around the world, local businesses, small businesses, whatever you wanna call them that are currently operating, but they don't know how to build a website, they don't know someone that can do it for them, and this is where you're gonna be able to come in. Of course, this video is gonna show you all of the things that you need to know when it comes to doing this in the most effective way possible. But when it comes to getting paid, you need to make sure that you've got a PayPal account. Most businesses in this day and age feel comfortable paying when it comes to PayPal because they know that if anything happens, if they're being scammed, they're gonna be able to get their money back. So for you to give the companies that you're working with that extra level of assurance, PayPal is gonna be your best option. And it's really simple to do. Of course, there might be limitations depending on what country you live in, but all you need to do is head over to paypal.com. You're then gonna be given the option to sign up for either a business account or a personal account. I would recommend signing up for a business account because this is going to allow you to reduce your fees. It's also going to allow you to just run everything a lot more smoother. You are going to need to make sure that you've got all of your valid documents, you know, your ID, your address details, email address, all of that needs to be valid for you to open up a pay PayPal account. But once you've done that, one of the next things that you need to do is that you need to now register for a professional email domain. So if you want to increase your chances of turning someone into a paying client, it's all gonna come down to the way that you present yourself. And one of the first impressions that all of these different businesses are going to have is your email address. If you're using a standard Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook, whatever it is, and it's not professional when it comes to it being custom, then your chances of turning them into a paying client is gonna be a lot lower. And by professional domain, all this means is that you need to get a email domain that reflects the type of business that you're running. And in this case, since you're gonna be doing a work from home job when it comes to building websites, you wanna have a domain that you know says something along those lines. So you can come up with the name yourself, it's not really difficult to do, but what you can also do is go on to something like GoDaddy. So GoDaddy is the website that I've personally used when it comes to buying all of my domains. This video isn't sponsored, you know, I've used them with 50 plus domains over my time and I've not had any issues with them. It's really cheap, fast and easy to use, but they've got this new AI feature that's gonna help you when it comes to coming up with a name for your new company as well as the email domain as well. So all you need to do is click on this, then come over here to generate domain names. And all you need to do is just tell GoDaddy what type of website you're looking to build. So I'm just gonna say, I am starting a website building service and I need a professional name slash email. From there, I'm just gonna click on search. And from there, it's now gonna come back with different options that you can choose from. So you can pick whatever one is suitable for you. You don't need to think too much about it, but just pick one that says what you're trying to do. It illustrates the point and it's not gonna to cost too much. E.g. there's this one over here called Site Creators HQ. And this one is only gonna cost you around 19 cents. There may be other fees that you need to pay, but it's gonna be really cheap when it comes to setting up your custom professional email. But once you understand what goes into purchasing your email domain, the next thing that you need to understand is how are you actually going to find the contact details and all of these different businesses that do not have a website up and running. Because there's a couple of different things that goes into this, right? You need to number one, of course, find a business that's operating right now. Number two, it needs to not have a website or it needs to have a website that's not working properly. And finally, you need to know how to find their email address for you to be able to reach out to them. And there's two different ways that you can do this. So one of the first ways is by using Google Maps. And when most people think about Google Maps, they Think of it like this, you know, a place that you can go to to see all of these different countries all around the world, when in reality, what it is, is a business directory. And it works in a very interesting way because you're gonna be able to type whatever type of business you're looking for and the location, and it's gonna point out whether they've got a website listed or not. So in this case, I'm just gonna search for tutors that are based in Leicester. Leicester is a city in the UK, so I'm just going to search just like that. Okay, perfect. So as you guys can see on the left hand side over here, it's got all of these different companies that are listed and the way in which we can tell if they've got a website connected or not 
is by looking at this icon right here. So this one has a website, this one has a website, this one has a website, this one here doesn't have one. Same thing with this one, this one, this one, this one doesn't, so on and so forth. I'm sure that you get the point. So you can basically go through this entire list for any type of business, whether it's a mechanic, whether it is a barbershop, hair shop, you know, tire repair shop, there's countless different types of businesses, small businesses, local businesses that are operating right now that could benefit from having a website if you approach them in the right way. Now, it is important for you to also know that when it comes to using the Google Maps method, it is going to show you which ones don't have a website, but it isn't going to show you their contact information. And to show you what I'm talking about, if I just click into this one over here, we could see that this one doesn't have a website and there's no email address listed on Google Maps. And this is where most people end up getting stuck because they're not really sure of exactly how to find the email address, which is going to be the most important part of this entire process. So the way that you can figure that out is by copying the name just like this. Then coming over to Google, pasting the name of the business in there just like that. And they should have a Facebook profile that you're now gonna be able to click into. And it's gonna be on this page that you're gonna be able to see their direct email address. So those are the steps that goes into using Google Maps when it comes to finding contact information. But one of the second ways that you can find contact information is by going directly to Google search. And with this method, you're gonna be able to get 10, 20, 30, 50 different emails all at the same time. So let me show you how this method works. So first step is that you're gonna go over to Google. You're gonna paste this prompt in here just like this. And all this says is that I want Google to scan the facebook.com site and I want it to specifically look for Facebook accounts that have the word tutor in their profile. And I also want Google to show me their email address if they've got Gmail, Outlook, Hotmail or Yahoo listed. Most of the time, if a company is still using any one of these different domains, it means that they most likely do not have a website. So just type this in there just like that. You can change this to any type of business that you want and then click on Google search. And from here, you're gonna see that Google has now come back with all of these different results specifically from the facebook.com website. And all you're going to need to do is copy all of the information just like this. And you're gonna do the exact same thing for every single page. You're then gonna come over to a blank Google document and you're gonna paste all of the pages, as many pages as possible into this blank Google document. I've already done that. And as you can see on the right-hand side over here, I've got 54 pages of all of this data. Once you've got all of this data that you've copied, you're now going to copy it again again and come over to chat GPT. Just paste it all in there just like that and add this prompt at the top and ask chat GPT to format the data below into a table with these columns, company name and email. And chat GPT should now format all the information so that it's a lot more clearer, a lot more easier to see. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, it's now given me around 31 different email addresses for all of these different tutors that probably do not have a website. So with this method, it's just gonna be a little bit easier when it comes to building up a bigger list of potential leads, but of course you can use whatever method that you want. But whatever one that you decide to use, whatever the case is, it's gonna be from this point that you're now gonna to start to send emails out to them. You wanna be professional, you don't want to spam them, you want to you know, give them all of the reasons as to why it would be beneficial for them to get a website up and running ASAP. You can use ChatGPT to write the emails on your behalf if you believe that you're not gonna be able to structure the emails in the best way. You can send one email initially just offering your services. If they don't get back to you, you can send a follow-up email four days later and then another follow-up email and maybe end it there and move on to another lead. It's gonna be your job from this point to be consistent when it comes to sending out emails in a professional manner because you could get a response back within the first day or it might take a few days for you to get a response back. But as long as you're sending out as many emails as possible to all of these different businesses, you never know when you're going to get your first client. But once you do get a response back from a business that wants to pay you, you can either get a deposit from them maybe a $50 deposit, you know, for you to start working on the website. You don't have to if you don't want to, but getting a deposit will increase your chance of being able to get the remainder of the money. But maybe for your first few clients, you might wanna do it for as cheap as possible. You might want to not ask for a deposit because it's gonna be from these first few clients that you can now get some positive reviews, build up a portfolio, which is gonna help you when it comes to getting more clients in the future. But whichever one that you decide to do, whether getting a deposit or not getting a deposit from your first client, you obviously need to know how to build a website. 
And at this present moment in time, one of the best website builders that I'd recommend that you use for this work from home job is Hostinger. Hostinger has a AI website builder that anyone can use. It's really easy, straightforward. If you watch my channel before, you know how easy it is to use. And one of the best parts about it is that it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if the company doesn't pay you the remaining money for whatever reason, you're gonna be able to get your money back. So you can access Hostinger by clicking the link in my description down below. Once you've clicked that link, what you're now going to do is click on claim deal. Then come over here to the business website builder and then click on choose plan. You're of course going to need to ask the company that you're working with, you know, how long do they want the website for? You got either one month, 12 months, 24 months or 48 months. This is something that you're going to discuss with them. But if I just select 12 months from now, as you can see, it's going to be really cheap, only $47 for you to get the website built. That means that if you charge $500 for you to complete this website, you're going to be able to earn a profit of around $450. And imagine if you're doing this over and over again for various different businesses a week. If you're able to be persistent with the side hustle, the amount of money that you're going to be able to make is going to be a lot. So once you get to this point, just click on continue. You then need to go through the steps of creating your account. And once you've done that, you're gonna log in and it's then gonna take you to the AI website builder. And as an example, just to show you how it works, let's assume that this company got back to me, they want me to build their website, give them a professional presence online. What I'm gonna do is first and foremost, copy the name of their business just like this, paste it in there where it says brand name and for the description, you just need to enter a few sentences. Of course, once you do find a business and you're communicating with them going back and forth, they're gonna give you a description of their business for you to make it in the best possible way. But because I'm just showing you this as an example, I'm just gonna type something along the lines of, I am a maths tutor based in Leicester, UK, focused on teaching school kids, and this website is for me to have a professional presence online and also allow new customers to contact and book me. You can be more descriptive if you want, you can add up to 700 characters. I'm just gonna leave it like this and click on create a website. And there we go. As you just saw within a few seconds, it came back with this fully built, fully optimized, ready to use website. There isn't really nothing else like this on the market that I've personally seen. There might be something else, but the way in which hosting works, you know, it just makes it really easy because if I had to do all of this myself, or if you had to do all of it yourself, it'll definitely take you a couple weeks if you're a complete beginner that's new to building websites. But for the most part, that's what you need to know when it comes to, you know, getting to the point of actually building your website. This brings me on to the things that you're going to have to do during the stage after you've built the site. And let me start off with one of the first things that you need to be aware of, which is quite obvious, but you're going to need to customize the website to the client's satisfaction. So even though, yes, you've used this AI builder to give you the foundation and, you know, the structure of the website, there's going to be a lot of changes that you need to make. And when I say a lot, it's not going to be too intense, but even just basic things like the phone number down here and the email address. You also need to update the location, the hours. You know, the AI builder isn't going to know all of this information and the client may want to change the images. You know, they may want to change some of the text around that's on the site. And the way that you're going to be able to do that is by clicking on edit site over here. And everything is fully flexible. You know, there's nothing that you really can't do when it comes to updating things. Whether you want to update the text, whether you want to update any of these images, you want to move it around, you want to delete it, you want to change it to a completely different image. If you want to add a new page, you can easily do that by coming over here. At the top over there, you can see that we've got homepage about our services, contact. If you want to add a new page, let's say, a blog page super simple to do if i just click on save as you can see there's now a blog page added i'm not going to bore you with the details of what goes into changing things because once you get into it it's going to be fairly straightforward and there is going to be a continuous back and forth between you and the company that you're working with but once you and the company are happy with the final state of the website that's when you're now going to collect the remainder of the funds from them. So you could just ask them to send the funds directly to your PayPal account. Once you've received it, you're happy the money is in your account or your bank account. That's when you can now switch the details within Hostinger over to them. To switch it over to the business that you're working with, you just need to come over to the back end of your Hostinger account, come over to the email, and you're gonna be able to now switch the email over to them. It's also going to be during this stage that you need to remove your card details or any payment methods that you added so that you don't get charged when the website renews. So it's really simple, very straightforward, but I would say that one of the most important things that you need to know once the website has been built is 
how you can upsell ongoing services. So one of the things that I love about this particular work from home job is that yes, you can get the $500, $1,000, whatever you wanna charge when it comes to building a website, but you can now offer the business that you've worked with ongoing services so that you can get a recurring monthly income. And some examples of ongoing recurring services can be things like writing articles for them, maybe managing their emails, maybe doing SEO work to get their website ranked on Google. There's a number of different services that you can charge when it comes to the business that you've worked with and this is where you're going to be able to make the real money getting that one-time payment is amazing you know who doesn't want that but if you're able to get a monthly ongoing payment then this is going to help you you know manage your finances a lot better but for the most part i would say that those are the things that you need to know when it comes to this google work from home job if you've enjoyed this video so far you've gotten any sort of value from it you've learned anything Press the like button, I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe as well, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. And if you want me to make another video elaborating on any of the points in this video, then put in the comments down below, do the Google work from home video, write your comment and let me know exactly what you want me to make a video on and I'll get onto it ASAP. And in the meantime, if you wanna watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I break down some other things you need to know when it comes to starting a side hustle that can put you on the path of going from broke to rich over this next year, then click the link over there, check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. But other than that guys, I'll catch you in that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.